Art is quite exquisite. What a fine gallery. Hmm. However, all of these pieces are missing something. It's a fine little detail. I just can't quite put my finger on it. This art isn't messy enough! <laughs> Shave my face. Wait, wait, did the video start? Hi, and welcome to the Kids Commons Research Lab. And well, I got a little late start this morning. I didn't quite finish shaving, but this gives me the perfect opportunity to do one of my favorite shaving cream art experiments for Messy Art Day. Step one, you need to pour out a bunch of shaving cream. Now I would recommend using a bin or something that way it doesn't get all over the place. Perfect. Next, roll up your lab coat sleeves, that way you don't get any shaving cream on them. And you're gonna use your hands and you're just gonna flatten your mound of shaving cream out, so that way you have a nice, even surface of shaving cream. High five. Next, you're just gonna add a few drops of watercolor or food dye into your shaving cream. There you go. Now you're gonna use either a fork, a pencil, a toothpick, something that you can use to just kind of swirl around the colors. And when you do this, you don't wanna mix it too much, otherwise the color will mix together. You want them to kind of stay separated, but still have a nice swirly texture to it. Just like that. Okay, this next part you need to be very gentle with, okay? You're just going to grab your paper and you're going to just put it right on top of your shaving cream mixture and you're not going to press it down super hard. You're just going to lightly, lightly press on it just a little bit. Now what's happening is all the watercolor and food dye or whatever it is you put in your shaving cream is going to soak into the paper, but the shaving cream won't soak into it. and. Because of that, you're going to get a really cool swirl or marble pattern on this piece of paper because only the color is getting absorbed into the paper. Alright everyone, this is the moment of truth to see our final creation here. Drum roll please! If you have some extra shaving cream still on the paper here sticking to it, you can just use your fork and just kind of scrape it off just like that. And there you have it. You make your own marble pattern using shaving cream. Now, thank you guys for joining me and I'm going to go finish shaving. Welcome to Awfully Awesome Art, where I do art and it turns out awesome. Now, because
because springtime is here, I decided that I would practice drawing different kinds of bugs that you see outside. So you can see my beautiful picture of a ladybug here. Although I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen a ladybug that looks quite like this, but uh, that's okay. I'm sure you can tell by now that I love to do crafts that are super messy, which is why I'm so excited because our theme this week is messy art. Amazing, it makes me so happy. I just need to do a 10 second happy dance real quick. Happy dance, happy dance, happy dance. Happy dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Happy dance. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to introduce this week's craft, which is going to be creating marbled paper. And we are going to use oil and watercolors to do this. Now, if I remember correctly, we learned in our volcanoes video from Nick that oil and water don't mix. So I decided that this would be a cool craft if we add some color to the water and then figure out what kind of cool design comes out on the paper when we try to mix oil and water. So let's see what happens. For this craft, you will need some oil and make sure you put it either in a cup that you can use an eyedropper with or in a squeegee bottle. You will also need some watercolors and you can just pick a couple colors. You will need some sort of deep tray that you can put the watercolor in. And then you'll need some thick paper that you can put on top of your watercolor and oil mixture. Alright, so this project turned out super cool looking. As you can see, the places where there are dots is where the oil was and it pushed away the watercolor leaving this super cool pattern. So once this dries, you can fold it in half and turn it into a card or um, you can just hang it up if you like the way it looks like this. And don't forget to add it to your awfully awesome art wall. Alright, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. We've all seen artwork like this before. Stale, crusty, ancient chips, gray-haired, boring. Drop the brush, Grandma. We want messy art. Wild, crazy, fun, exciting, unique. Get back to bingo, Grandpa. Okay. And let the messy artist take over.
All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this week's episode of KCTV. We hope to see you again next time, but until then, stay messy.